hopefully. What what do you what's your response to that? Well, here's the deal. We we just found out really not too long ago that where they stood. Uh, we're willing to sit down with anybody. They they didn't show uh, you know, any concerns at the first when we did House Bill 148. So we just went ahead and went and put that in there. Now we're starting to get a lot of calls from the college presidents. So we're willing to work with anybody. I can't. We're just trying to get the discussion going. You came pretty close last year. How close are you today? I think we're very close. I think it's the closest we've ever been. Actually, I know that there are some people that um, that are leaving office that have said that they're going to vote for it this time. So I think we picked up two or three new votes, so we're very, very close. What's the number, do you think? Well, it's going to take 71, as we know. Uh, I wish it didn't, because it was already 60, but we already passed it. <laughs> um, so I'm looking right now, we're right at, I don't want to give anything away. We, we're not going to tell names or anything, but I'd say we're at almost 70. But we've seen this year after year, you get within a couple, and it just never seems to happen. Yeah, and it, you know, everybody votes for it, and they see it goes down, then some of them get off. I mean, if you see last year on the board, I think it got, what, to 67, 68, and then some pulled off. But I mean, you know, and, and, and I know we've had Supreme Court decisions, but you know, what is different this year? This seems like this is going to be as close as we ever come to passing concealed carry. I think part of it is, is because of Wisconsin, our neighbor to the north that did it. And, you know, uh, when they did it, there was like 67,000 permits that were applied for in the first week. Um, I think uh, if you want to generate, generate some revenue, this is a good way to do it too. And we're going to need every dime we can this year in the budget. So uh, we're very close. We're not going to give up. Um, we're the only state. And if it was so bad, why is uh, there not any other states trying to repeal this? It works. Crime has gone down everywhere. This uh, this has gone into effect. So um, why why are, why are we the only ones? It's still the House that's the problem. You've got the votes in the Senate. Yeah, I think we're getting closer in the Senate. I don't want to speak for them. I haven't done uh, haven't counted noses over there, so to speak. But uh, you know, my main thing right now is to get this out of the House. I mean, that's where we want to start it. Um, so it's long overdue, folks, and we're just going to keep trying. And this measure wouldn't allow concealed weapons on college campuses. It would not in the buildings. What we can right now is is that. Uh, yeah, you can't do it in the buildings, but if uh, you want to like to have a thoroughfare through the uh, college campus, like Route 13 in SIU Carbondale, you can carry it through there in your car, but you're not going to have it on campus because the campus, the presidents of the college have said that they don't want any form of concealed carry in the campuses. So uh, that's fine, but if they disarm that person that has a permit, something happens like Northern Illinois in the shooting, then you know they're going to get the liability. The universities well, why do other are. State buildings get to say not in here, but university campuses, if they do that, they have to face some liability. Well, I mean, like I said, we haven't heard anything from them, so we're just trying to get the discussion going. So we're going to sit down with them. If they want to do that, we will. And if there might be some changes that we will make. There might be or there will be? No, I mean, I, I don't know right now on the future, but yeah, there might be. I mean, we, we're, we're willing to discuss with anything. The only groups that really have not talked to us besides the colleges are Cook County and the city of Chicago. That's the only ones. How do you respond to some of your colleagues that say dealing with this liability thing, it may add more enemies than supporters? I, I don't know if it's going to really, at the end of the day, going to have more enemies. I think everybody, I don't think that their constituents are going to let them vote against this because of this issue. I'll just put it that way. Do you know way. other states that have a liability provision like this? No, we're going to look at that since it was brought up today. We're going to look at that. And I'm going to do everything I can to work with our, with our members. So that's, that's not going to be a problem. So, but we will look into that. We got the legislative research bureau. I'm getting ready to go down there right now to request that. So. State police issues the permits. What's the what's the fee sheriff structure? sheriff's office? Uh, the permits. I think uh, I think we're going to lower that. But right now they're a hundred um, hundred dollars, I believe. And um, to, to we're going to look we're going to look at that again too. Yeah, part of that will go to the sheriff's office for the processing things like that. But uh, we're going to look at all that. We've been. That's another thing that members said. You know, they think it might be too high. But like I said, this is committee deadline week. We wanted to get this out, and we're going to work on it. So it is a work in progress. Cool.